Alright guys, I am. Oh my gosh, I hate crew. <laughs> that was so good. Great timing too. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. We're so excited you're here with us today. Brandon is on his way home with some of the kids. I brought some of the other kids home today. We had a meeting at the school. I was kind of in a hurry to get here. Whoever's here, come with me. Brex and Hazy came home with me. Brex has piano here in a little bit. You know, we're just getting that afternoon schedule going along. I'm kind of gonna throw it off a little bit because I have to do nails for just a quick minute. Then you guys, today Ryler has something big. He has his appointment with his teachers and the staff at school to be interviewed for his appointed position on the student Council, he is going to try the election, the student body, and the appointed. That's a good idea for kids to do both if they'd like to. He has that today. He's going to get dressed up real nice. That is a very, very big thing going on for him, and we are so excited and proud of him. That's a big deal happening for Rye Guy. But starting with the snack, hey, he's already getting into the yogurt. Thankfully, we have eaten all the sugar cookie bars and the brownies. There's really not many sweets here left in the house. Thank goodness. Wow, you transformed quick. Are you ready to go to piano? Yeah. Yeah, what song are you working on right now? When She Loved Me. Ooh, sounds like a good one. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm super excited for you. Yeah. How am I gonna get this? Like that? So, Hazy, you kind of created a weird concoction, a Danimal with granola. You know that's not regular yogurt. Let's see how it tastes. It's actually really good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, well, enjoy. <laughs> I am back home now with the kids. Hazy is reading, we're doing a little bit of reading, and I'm getting to see her use her reading glasses for the so first time ever. So this is called One Snowy Day. One Snowy Day, Hazy, guess what? They didn't have any of those in Florida. They had zero snowy days in Florida. It was absolutely good. By the way, quick update on my sunburn, you guys. I don't know what it is, the miraculous skin that I've been blessed with. It is like better today. It was so toasty yesterday, I thought for sure I'd be like blistering, it hurt so bad. But today, it doesn't hurt at all. Completely back to normal. Go ahead and touch me, yeah, pretty good. Over here, I thought she was gonna slap me, so I was getting a little bit nervous, but no, feels great. And your nose? <laughs> my nose, yep, yeah, okay. Ow! <laughs> Your forehead? My forehead? Yeah, I can still put on my VR headset, so I'm good to go. Anyways, I'm helping Hazy read here. We got crew reading over here. Brex, I just walked him over to piano. And Bry Guy, as mom told you, is getting ready for his big interview today for his student council representative appointed position. Five colorful buttons. Hazy, that is correct! Oh my gosh, you and can read so very, good. It's a very big word. Colorful is a big word, huh? Yeah, it was five. Hazel, <laughs> you're gonna give me a paper cut. Keep reading. But Bry Guy, I'm pretty proud of this kid. I don't know how much mom told you guys. He has got a leg up on life, I'll tell you that, because it takes some kids myself included, a while to figure out the art, the strategy behind the interview process. Probably been taught to dress your best for those, put your best foot forward. Rye Guy is going to get fully decked out, dressed up in a suit for this interview. Now last year they were done via Zoom, so it was in his own room. But I think he probably dressed decently, but certainly not in a full suit. He's going full suit like it's a job interview, and he's bringing the teacher who's doing the interviews his favorite soda. He wants to bring him a six pack of his favorite soda to put in a refrigerator to restock because he noticed that he was out of his favorite soda. So we're going to go pick that up on our way there. I think it's a brilliant strategy. Rye Guy doing everything he can to get back on student council this year. So we are crossing our fingers. It goes well. I told him, I said, there's nothing to be nervous about this year because last year you had no idea what to expect. You were a sixth grader going into seventh grade. You didn't even know the people you were talking to. You didn't know what student council was. And the questions they asked you, you had no idea what to expect. Now they know you. You've had a year of familiarity with them. They love you. You've done a great job on student council. So just go in there confident, calm, relaxed, and just be yourself. And it's going to go great. Dude, you're so good. K Rag Guy going in for his interviews. Bro, you're going to do awesome. Be yourself, be confident. I love you, you're the greatest. And you got sodas to win him over with. And look how handsome you are. I love you. Good luck. See you after. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited slash nervous for him. He's actually legit nervous, you guys. I love that kid. I don't know why he's nervous. He looks amazing. He is amazing. He's earned the reputation already. Now I just sit here for five minutes. They are five minute interviews. That's it. They are stacking them back to back to back. I was teaching him the art of being five minutes early. On time is late. Ten minutes early is kind of uncomfortable, makes the person feel like they're running behind. But five minutes is that sweet spot. It shows you care, it's important, it's a priority, and it's just a good lesson to learn. I love that throughout this process, he is learning life skills. The student council thing has been so great for him in so many ways. It's helped him excel in his studies, learn about service, be involved in his school. And on top of that, there are things that he's learning about, like the interview process and dressing up, getting the inside track on the person that's interviewing you, whether that's like their favorite soda or learning about the company you're interviewing with. So a lot of great life skills he's learning and putting into practice here. This dude is light years ahead of where I was at his age. 11 minutes later. This guy, this guy. 
And if it went horrible, you don't have to say it on camera. I, don't, I feel like it went pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Do you want to just tell me a little bit about it? Like we can do on camera and off camera, but yeah. like. It went good, yeah. They gave me some good compliments. They did? Like about your previous service or yeah. about coming in with their favorite drinks and in a suit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guy. Crushed it on the interview, bro. And I don't think I had a chance to say this into the vlog yet, but I want you to hear it. You've earned a reputation prior to walking into that room. A lot of times yeah. you have to go into a room and tell them, this is why I'm great. This is what I bring to the table. This is why you want me on your team. Yeah. You've earned that reputation in advance through a year of hard work, mm -hmm. being like the first guy to pitch in and help out, the last guy to leave on cleanup. And they know that about you before you walk in the door. And so yeah. today you're bringing those extra elements, those added layers. It's like, hey, I know I've earned that reputation, but I still care enough to get dressed up. Yep. I still care enough to think about bringing you a fun drink. I'm proud of you, right guy. Thank you. However this goes, we are very proud of you. Right, guys, back in the house. Sorry, we had to get the full rundown on everything that happened. It went great. He's feeling pretty good. It threw a few curveballs at him. But really quick, some of the things that we went over as far as like interviewing in general, like when you're a teenager, you're starting to look at maybe interviewing for jobs and things like that. Yep. So one of the things we talked about is being confident, looking the interviewer in the eye, answering in full, complete sentences, speaking up. Because yep. a lot of times, especially at this age, it's natural to give one or two word answers, speak really low, kind of mumble your words together. Yep. How do you feel like you did on that? I feel like I did pretty good. I think you naturally are pretty good at that. You've always had a really good ability to speak to adults like an adult. So I think that that's something that's a strength of yours. There's only like one question that I got stumped on, but it was a good learning experience. I love it, dude. I love, what an attitude, bro. Taking that one thing that kind of stumped you. He asked me, hey dad, how would you have answered this? We discussed a it potential answer. Kind of a difficult, complex answer, difficult, complex question. But now next time you're faced with that and you'll be more prepared. Okay, we are actually running off to get haircuts, but does one to get his haircut in a suit. So go change out your suit. I'll take you down. The other kids already getting their haircuts. We'll go join them, okay? Proud of you, no matter what. Either way, love you. You're the best, the greatest, yeah. the GOAT. I think he's feeling good. That was, like he said, a great learning experience. All of the things are just in life, you guys. Anytime you have the opportunity to do something that is difficult, hard, or uncomfortable, I would suggest and invite you to do it because it will do nothing but help you grow, be better, develop, and gain experience, and be better at it the next time and more comfortable, more natural, until suddenly you are doing the things that used to be hard with ease. Moving on to the next part of today because mom, as I said, has already left with crew and Brexen and Hazy because she can't stay here by herself to go get their haircuts. We are trying to time this because we are two weeks from today, leaving for Maui for our spring break. You guys, we cannot wait. We are so excited. I even went and got a pre-tan. Just kidding. It's enough about my sunburn. If we get them now, because the kids generally need haircuts pretty badly every two weeks because they grow like crazy. If we cut them now today, then probably the day before we leave on our trip, they'll be due for another haircut. If we wait any longer, we'll get into that awkward period where they don't quite need it, but they could get it. So haircuts going down today, kind of pre-Hawaii, pre-spring break, really in anticipation of doing one more before we leave. Oh, shit. Look at that fresh gun. Back home from haircuts, you guys, and I do want to show you right guys finished product because when he left, he was thinking it was a little short. He really likes to do like short, high, and tight, but then kind of have that long, flowy, wavy, kind of messy, ugly hair on top. Just kidding. He looks fantastic. When he styles it, he's so handsome. But the intention was we wanted to get these cut maybe on this one a little bit shorter. Then in two weeks when we go back, maybe he can do his high and tight and kind of leave the top alone. Yes. But I told him to go shower, style it, see how he feels. So he's doing that right now. In the meantime, we are throwing down some dinner tonight and something that we wanted to do before I left on a surprise trip to Florida. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I surprised my brother. It was very last minute. We actually had hamburger buns and plans for that evening to cook burgers, but I ended up eating in Florida, eating lobster tails and filet mignon. It was a tough night, but we, we are now going to have said burgers. But because mom and I are doing our best to eat healthy, turn over a new leaf. I actually can eat healthy. I just don't prefer to. We know how to do it. So we're going to do a stack of turkey burgers for me and mom here and a stack of regular burgers for the kids. And then mom is getting out broccoli. I know you guys are weirded out right now. What is going on What's with the broccoli? Burger. What is the you guys, I actually love broccoli. Yeah, she does. She loves it. Of all the veggies, any veggies, that's the one she likes. I know, isn't that weird? Hey, and thank you. You got me a tomato. I know that's for me. Not one person in this family likes tomatoes but me. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you. Oreo thins, I think those are a crew special. That was a crew, but it's the thins, not the full size. Four cookies. It's, it's in the small choices, calories. guys. It's in the small choices. I noticed we also didn't get any additional chips. Is that a healthy choice or an oversight? Possibly an oversight. Oversight, alright. Well, love it. so I was standing in the aisle with like all the hash browns and stuff, and I said, Crew, should we have French fries? And he goes, Oh, mom, can we get pizza? That's wow. Where that's where that went. He's just like, mom, talkies, this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I am going to fire up the grill, something that I haven't done in a long time. It's been quite a while, I feel like, since oh, we've done a barbecue. I'm so excited. 
excited. It's actually not the perfect weather though. though. It's pretty cold it's, today, guys. Well, it's just the wind is making it's it. It's very windy. I guess it feels cold to me because I was just at the beach, but I love just rubbing that in. But it's <laughs> but it's pretty cold. Very windy. It almost feels like a storm's coming in, but you check the forecast and it's only getting to be better weather I know, every this day. Is so like 73. I don't know very what the deal is. So windy and cold outside, whatever. We're gonna go barbecue in it. And then we also have a new Traeger that I have yet to assemble that is in its box outside. And I asked Rye Guy if he would help me tomorrow because it is an early out day tomorrow. Oh, that's a great idea. And it is a two-person assembly required. Can I remind you that we have a big meeting tomorrow for house oh, stuff? Oh, I definitely didn't know. I've been very out of the loop on the house stuff. Yes. That so. sounds awesome and exciting, and I can't wait for it. It's I think like a you'll two have time, meeting, though. right? I think okay. you'll have time. Hopefully, Rye Guy and I can get on that. What should we make this weekend? We've got a lot of great stuff. We got ribs out there. We We've brisket. got tri-tip. We got brisket. We have so many things. Waiting for that tray. And I'm ready to start smoking again. Wow. Balance in all things, guys, that is key. If you're going to have broccoli, it needs to be covered in Parmesan cheese and followed by a Funfetti sugar cookie. That is how you balance That is the things. only way to do it. I'm actually probably not even gonna have a cookie. I know. But you guys, these are the easiest cookies. I think they're on our blog. It's just a quarter cup of oil, two eggs, and any cake mix. And then, of course, roll in sugar. Or cinnamon oh, sugar. Oh, and no frosting. I mean, you could, but. I would be taking it up a level. Yeah, that's That would be enough. brand version. I'm gonna dip mine in rainbow chip frosting. Just kidding, we had some though. Oh my gosh, I would so do you that. You would not. All right, guys, got my turkey burger with a ginormous slice of tomato. Thank you, mom, for thinking of me. Some broccoli on the side, but mom, doing it up on another level. She's got hummus and lettuce wrap. Nicely done. That looks delish on a turkey burger. Yum, yum, yum. Kids, how, oh, wow, Riley's literally almost done with the entire burger. By the way, your hair does not look nearly as short now that you've, like, washed it and let it out. It's still very long, bro. But also still very short. Oh, my gosh, it is not. Let it go for two weeks. It'll look amazing. Rex, do you like in yours? Kirby, do you like in yours? Wow, you guys are pounding these burgers. It's been a long time since we've had a barbecue. Since we've had, like, burgers cooked in the backyard. I almost got blown away by the wind three times and it's wow. pretty dang so cold, but we did it. We made them. Everybody's yeeting and eating and repeating and loving cookies it. cookies after this? Wait, we have cookies after this? Barbecue was fantastic. It was delightful. You call that a barbecue when we cook hamburgers. Really, really good. But we ended up watching a little bit of Sonic the Hedgehog. Number one, that is, because I do believe number two is coming out soon. It might yeah. be out. I'm not sure. I think it's coming the out soon. The kids love that. So we're trying to get amped for the next one. And then I put the kids into like hyperdrive, so they're like brushing their teeth really fast. And like, running up and down the stairs. Mindy clearly did not catch did the not speed bug the from Sonic. We are going to speed our way into bed because tomorrow, big day. It's a short day for the kids at school. They do the early out on Wednesdays. Oh. And then on top of that, we have like a two hour, I think it's a minimum yeah, two hour meeting. Meeting. to plan on two hours so long. Stephanie's going to grab the kids from school and bring them home for us. It's gonna be a while and it's gonna be, for the most part, I don't wanna say boring. It's called finished carpentry. So it's like crown molding, baseboards. It is, what other things are there? I just like all of like those little finishing um, touches that you don't even like notice around a home. All of the woodwork on the walls, framing. It's kind of like the subtle type details that are just there. So we get to go pick all of those out tomorrow. So it should be fun. And then I think we need to swing by the house. We missed it. Haven't seen it I today. I haven't seen it in a couple days. And, I'm and I haven't sad. seen it since before I left. I really wanna go get an update. I go check it out. I we can walk up the stairs. I hope it's still there based on the wind we had today. I hope it hasn't blown away. Very windy. We love you. Thanks for hanging out with us and thanks for supporting Ryler in his adventure here through Stuco. We are so grateful. It feels great to be home, you guys. Love being home. Told me to that a couple times today. It just feels great to be here, home with the family again. We love you. See you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye, guys. I am. Oh my gosh. I hate crew. <laughs> that was so good. Great timing, too. And thanks for all you guys rooting and supporting Ryler on rooting on <laughs> Rooting tooting. <laughs> there you go. This guy, this guy. <laughs>